Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over navigation for the MiG-15. So there's a couple different things for navigation. First is the kneeboard here. Then is the um, gyroscope compass here. And then there is the radio compass. So I'll go over the kneeboard first. So to open the kneeboard you hold right shift and click K on your keyboard. And then you can use these arrows at the bottom to cycle through the different pages. So you can see um, there are some pages with the Caucasus map here. If you see any purple circles, that is our waypoints. So if you have any waypoints programmed in the mission editor, they'll show up as purple circles. You can also click uh, hold right control and click K on your keyboard. And it will drop down a arrow. If you can see, there's an arrow right here where my mouse is. So the arrow will show where you are and what direction you're, you're flying. So I'm going to change my direction now and pop another arrow down. And you can see here's another arrow showing where I am. And then you can just click the X here to get rid of the kneeboard. All right, so now for the uh, gyroscope compass. So this compass here uh, just shows where your plane is going. Um, and it's run on a gyroscope. So over time, the gyroscope might become misaligned. So every once in a while, just hold this button down and it will realign the gyroscope with um, the magnetic. So if I turn my plane here, you can see then my plane will start to move on the compass. So you can see I should be going around 120 degrees right now. And if I check myself on the map, you can see I'm going 120 degrees. The other cool thing you can do is you can turn the whole compass. So let's say I wanna go south. I'm gonna put the S on this top line. And then I can just uh, turn the plane till my little airplane symbol's facing up. So I don't have to worry about looking at numbers. All right, so now the radio compass. So on the map, there are, hold on, let me pause the game real quick. So on the map, there are a ton of these little symbols here. It's these little, it kind of looks like a circle made up of a bunch of little dots. And usually you'll find them next to airports. So you can see almost every airport has these little things. So these little circles are called NDBs. And basically these are little radio beacons that shoot out radio waves that you can um, pick them up and fly to them. So what you do is you have this panel here called the arc panel. And you can use this panel to tune into the radio wave and fly to it. And then the radio compass, the needle, will point to where the station is. So let me show you how to use the arc panel. So let me put the game in pause first. So what you do is you come over here, and there is a uh, switch here for the power. You can see ADF marker. So you turn that switch on. All right, so now you got to find where you want to fly to. So let's say I want to fly to Kobuleti. Um and a lot, of, a lot of airports will actually have two of them. Um, so basically the idea is you fly, to the fir you fly to the outer one first. And then you, when you get to the outer one, you tune into the inner one. And then you fly toward that so you get up, lined up with the runway. So let's fly to this outer one. You can see it's really hard to read, but it says 870. So what you do is we got to tune this guy into 870. So first, you need to make sure this homing switch is set on far. If you have it set to near, you won't be able to set your frequency range. You can see when I put it on far, now I can do my frequency range. So you can see there's three ranges, 150 to 310, 310 to 640, 640 to 1300. So let me see what mine was, 870. So I'm going to be on this last range. So what you do is you set it to the range, and then you tune this guy. So I'm at 800 now, so 810, 820, 830, 840, 850, 860, 870. So then you need to make sure that this guy is in antenna mode for tuning. And this guy on the top will show the strength of the signal. So if I move it away, you can see the signal goes down, but when I tune it into 870, the signal jumps up. So that's how I know I got my signal right. There's also a little light knob here if you want to turn the lights on. All right, so now all, the, all these little beacons I talked about earlier, these little circles, they emit a Morse code that you can listen to. So what you do is you come over here and you have this little switch here. 
So you, you flip it up to ADF to hear the Morse code. So if you have it on receiver, it's for listening to the radio. If you flip it up to ADF, then you can listen to the radio and the Morse code. So I'm going to flip it up, and you can hear that Morse code now. So I can turn, the, uh, turn it off back to receiver because the Morse code is kind of annoying. And now all you got to do is you've got to flip this guy to compass mode. And now my radio compass will point the needle where I need to fly. And by the way, there's a little switch here that says CW on, and voice. The manual says just l always leave it on voice. So you can see my needle's pointing right, so it, I, that means I need to turn my plane right to go to the um, station. So once the needle's pointing forward, you can go ahead and level your plane out. And if everything's right, I should be going to the right direction. And you can see I'm lined up now to get to Kobuleti, and it looks like it's working. All right, so you might have been wondering what is this near far thing? So basically, whenever I have it on far, I set the I set the frequency range using this uh, thing here. So if you set it to near, then this switch will not function. And in order to set your frequency range, you use these three switches over here. So if I want to be in this first range, I turn on the first switch. And if I want to be in the second range, I turn the first switch off and I set the second switch. So I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. I'm not sure what exactly the point is. I would recommend just turning all these off and setting this onto far. So now I can just set my range easily like this. All right, so just in case you saw this, there's also a um, thing here for the switch that says loop. So if you put loop here, what it does is it's hard to see, but there's a switch that says left and right. So that will manually change the direction of the antenna. So you can see it's changing where my radio compass is pointing. I'm not sure what exactly the point is. I would just always leave it on compass. Uh, so you're so that way your antenna will always point the right direction. Because um, if you put it on loop, then it's going to tell you to go the wrong way. So that's just in case you're wondering what it does. I'm not sure what exactly the point is. So remember that, to, so remember that whenever you want to navigate, always keep this on compass. All right, so last thing to go over for this um, arc system. So remember these beacons I mentioned earlier? So whenever you actually fly over one of the beacons, um, this little light here for marker will turn on and you'll hear a little bell noise. It's kind of hard to hear, but um, there is a little bell noise that plays and it's basically just telling you, hey, you're flying over a beacon right now. So I'm flying over a beacon and you can see the marker light turned on and you may not be able to hear it, but there's a really faint bell ringing sound in the background. I forgot to mention there's also a normal magnetic compass right here. That is navigation in the MiG-15. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.